OBS Studio and audio. That's what I want to explore today. I'd like to figure out all the different ways that we can have OBS Studio react to audio, whether it's your mic, the music that you play, or even in-game audio. I want to see some color sources, some overlays, the camera, all react to audio in a creative way. I am very, very excited for this one. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. I've been yapping about Owned Pro for a while now. Their goal is to give you everything you need to start as a streamer, starting with a huge library of overlays, a chatbot, widgets, everything you can think of. But now they got something new a stream overlay maker on the left under stream design you will see scene builder you can choose a complete setup or just a single scene let's do complete automatic selection will create five different scenes for your stream and in less than a minute you will have a full professional scene setup in manual selection you can browse the library and pick the scenes that you want let's go with automatic and the choice here is kind of wild owned is known for having the biggest library of overlays on the internet so let's pick this one you get a preview of what it looks like you can see your scenes your alerts your camera overlays your starting soon screens, your stinger transitions, and just click create scenes. Congrats, you have five scenes already created for you. Let's quickly edit the text by clicking on it. And this is the scene builder with a lot of options. This text seems to be in that folder. And now I can type whatever I want. Nice, now click save and copy the overlay URL. In your broadcasting software, you want to add a browser source, paste the link that you just copied and adjust the size. We know it's 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Congrats, it was that easy to create your starting soon screen. Do the same with the rest of the scenes and your complete setup can be done in 10 minutes max. Own Pro offers a gazillion more options, but I'll let you check it out by going to own.gg slash pro. That is own3d.gg slash pro. A long time ago in a galaxy far away, I made a video where I wanted a webcam that would react to audio. In that video, I used a software called Plane 9, which is a basically an audio visualizer for whatever input you have on your computer. And it's really cool. It gives you a lot of options, a lot of cool visual options. So that's something that you could possibly use. Basically use Plane 9, select your input and whatever it's reacting, you can do a window capture from Plane 9, bring it into OBS, mask it out, slap it on your webcam or slap it on whatever you want, your overlay. Another OBS audio reaction video that I made was the recent Easy PNG Tuber one. We used something called Image React, Image React, Image Reaction, a plugin. <laughs> and yes, we used it as a PNG Tuber because when you speak, it reacts to the audio and switches to another image or a GIF. But that means that you could put any image or GIFs in there and it will still react to it. If you watch my other videos, you'll know that I've been experimenting a lot with StreamerBot and the Move Transition plugin and the Shader Filter plugin. Well, turns out I keep selecting sources and I keep going like on the scene, go to filters and clicking plus to add filters because filters go on, on visual sources, right? So image filters, move action, move source, move value, move video capture device, move transition override. And just out of curiosity, at some point, I went to my audio. This is my mic. As you can see, it's moving right there. And I went to filters and I saw something called audio move. So with the move plugin, AKA move transition plugin, you'll have move value, move action, and also audio move. Now, all the people who knew this, they're, they're slapping their forehead right now. They're like, you didn't know that? I didn't, I didn't, I never looked, okay? <laughs> Anyways, audio move basically allows you to perform multiple actions depending on the sound. Since I added it to my mic, I believe the default is transform. So action is it's going to transform something. And now what is it from which scene? We're on the scene called scene, very smart name. And we want the source called image, right? And now you can see that the transform type is position X. It is now moving it from a base value of 10. And then we have like the threshold factor and like how much you want it to move, put 2000. Ah, uh, and <laughs> there's a correlation with just the magnitude, right? So if I go, if I speak, speak like that, ASMR like that, but if I go loud, it moves more. <laughs> Which is not something that you really get with the whole PNG image react thing. So I look weird in the corner like that. So of course you can use this for like a simple color source that would be behind your camera overlay, for example. You know what? Why not do it? New scene, video capture device, me camera, deactivate, reactivate. There you go. To that, I'm immediately gonna add a mask that will be a user-defined shader. This is the shader filter plugin. If you have it installed, you will find this uh, filter, user-defined shader. Uh, load shader text from file, browse. It comes with a bunch of them. I'm gonna go for circle, circle mask filter, blah, blah. And there you go. That's how easy you can get a circular webcam mask when you have the right plugin installed, which is the shader filter plugin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a 
color source, call this one cyan and pick closest thing to cyan, right click, copy or right click, paste duplicate. Nope, that's not what I, well, yes, that's what I wanted actually. So I color on that one and let's go with magenta well, or purple, whatever. Isn't it cool? Now right click on the HDMI where we have our filter and we can go to filters. I almost copied the wrong filter. Right click on this one. Control sheet, copy on the cyan, go to filters, right click, paste on the cyan two with F2 to change the name, filter, right click, paste, put the HDMI all the way up. That's my camera. So now what we can do is go to my mic auxiliary filters and go to audio move. And we're basically going to move them on opposite ends. Audio move. Name of the scene is camera overlay. The source we want here is purple and immediately we get some sort of effect. 2000 is maybe too much, but 1000 is a little less, maybe 200. It can be very subtle. And now I have a little bit of color reacting to my voice. Now let's add it for the cyan and I'm just going to copy this, right click, paste. And this time I'm going to select roll the right one. Testing, testing, testing. Now they're moving together. Now I haven't tried this yet, but let's put minus 200 and it works. It is that <laughs> it's so logical. It's so easy to comprehend. And then boom, now you have uh, an overlay that reacts and this is OBS. I haven't, you don't need anything fancy, just OBS, just OBS. What, two plugins, the audio, the move plugin, and then the shader filter plugin for the circle. Like that's what I needed it for, the circle. <laughs> now this is on its own scene, so you can add it as a scene and then add effects on top of that. But in order to continue my example, I just realized this YouTube thing has a matrix filter on it. <laughs> That's the shader filter plugin, by the way. So that's really the tip of the iceberg because this is just position X. We have position Y, so that's top to bottom. We have rotation, okay? And the reason why it's doing this on from the corner here is because of the positional alignment. If we press, if we select it, press control E, we can see that positional alignment is top left. We can center it. Booyah, and now it's centered. Nice, is it doing too much? Yes, that's because of the factor. Let's put that to a 20. Now it's shaking just a little bit, just a little bit. There's also scale, Jesus. There's also scale. <laughs> so this is scale, but like base value is zero. So I think that's uh, not good. There you go. Okay, one to two. <laughs> you gotta be small with those numbers. But yeah, there you go, you got scale. If you put this to your music, to your desktop audio while playing music, or if you have your audio separated, for example, and you have Spotify playing, then you can Scale X and then scale Y. I don't really see that effect. Let me change the values a little bit. There you go. Scale X, scale Y. Oh, there you go. Well, scale Y is very visible. So you can st stretch basically. Bounce. So basically it's stretched and then it stretches out to its normal scale. There's also crop, but <laughs> look at that. It's so funny that it would actually crop it. Uh, testing one, two, three. <laughs> And it's hard to really show you all the examples, but this is just transform. Then you have settings. If you have specific settings for the filter, text GDI, test, text. So I'm guessing settings would be properties, perhaps. All right, let's control D to center it. Let's turn off our YouTube thingy. Don't you love it when I just say tangy? The source is text GDI. Oh. Well, it's immediately just playing with the well you can do that too you can play with the um the visibility and the setting here is opacity that's why but then there's background opacity i don't know this is kind of random so i thought it was going to be settings for the text let me set a background color there you go there you go oh my <laughs> that is wild so that's something you can do okay <laughs> then there's regular source visibility testing oh i accidentally set it to this, but yeah, you can have this source basically appear when you speak. Let me turn off the text. So you can see here where it says image when I'm speaking, it's automatically turning it on and off. Isn't that cool? Pa, 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 pa. And something that I played with was the height transition. For example, this is a little too jarring, if you will. Maybe I want that every time it turns off, it actually fades out a little bit, just so it's easier on the eye. I can right click on it, go to height transition, go to fade, and now it appears abruptly like a cut, but it fades out. <laughs> so if I were to set this to around 150, I found was pretty decent, or you can kind of see the effect and it's fast enough to be still reactive, right? So this is a little bit better for the eyes. And then under action, we have filter enable. So what it's doing right now, the way it's turning this on and off, it can do that for a whole filter that you have on your source. It'll ask you what the source is and then it'll ask you what filter you want to change. In my case, I want to spice it up a little bit. 
let's go ahead and turn my camera. Hi. Let's choose my camera. And let's start by adding a filter to the camera that we want to turn on and off. Now, of course, I really love my uh, shader filter, but let's do a, a classic one, color correction, for example. I want to do color correction, and let's say I want to bump up the saturation and change it like that. So flash warning at this point, like, yeah, <laughs> flash warning for sure. Let's go back to our audio filters, go to move three, which is the one that we picked, and we can choose basically color correction two. And now, <laughs> Oh my, oh my, oh my. And since this is a filter on the audio thing, you can set it, for example, you turn it on, on your, with your stream deck. At a specific part of your stream, you press a button and then boom, this turns on and then you have this thing and it turns off. If you're using StreamerBot, you can have it as a channel point redemption or even an alert. Every time you get raided, this turns on for like, I don't know, 20 seconds and then shuts off automatically. You can really, really automate this whole thing. And it's um, pretty cool. <laughs> Let's do some shader filter plugin. Pop, 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 pop. I want to go with the VHS effect, which is one of my favorite effects, not going to lie. And I can make it so that every time I speak, it glitches a little bit. All I have to do is pick the right one. And when I speak, bzz, bzz, oh, oh my God, we're losing. Transmission failed. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? <laughs> now again, this is filters. Those are things that you can apply to any, any source, any, any source. Okay, there was another plugin. Uh, bop, 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 bop. There was another plugin that we, that I made a video about. Ha, ba, ba. And it's the waveform visualizer. This one very different. Here we pick audio source, our mic, and there we go. We have an audio visualizer. I am currently looking for a way to have a something called polar coordinates that can basically turn any source that is like flat to a circular. Exeldro, if you're watching this, uh, finite singularity, if you're watching this, help. But thankfully, this specific plugin already has a display, a circular display mode. I just need to find it. Oh, there it is. Radial layout. There we go. And now you have your, you have a little, a little radio layout. A video with testing, testing. Oh, control D to center. There you go. And now you can have it having like going in like that. Testing, 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 testing. And then you can have it going out if you invert radial direction. And there's a bunch of like a whole lot of options to play around with here. Test, 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 test. Oh, this is this is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> play around with the radial arc. It can be just for like one single side, like just a specific little part of it bah, bah, bah. <laughs> i love this thing now you want to see something very very cool we can move value so it doesn't just have because i showed you like the audio react thing basically i'm gonna take this waveform visualizer i'm gonna turn off this thing on my camera first there you go so i'm gonna take this waveform visualizer and i can totally customize it i can already change the colors here if i wanted to go purple and it'll be purple actually i'm gonna keep it like that but i can also add filters to it and then control the filters through like the audio reaction thingy. So if I go hue, and this time we're gonna do color correction and we're gonna do move value basically. Color correction, I'm gonna saturate this a lot actually. And basically the value that we're gonna move is this, is the shift, hue shift. It goes from 180 to minus 180. Now with my mic filter, I can add audio move setting. Now pick the right source, waveform visualizer two, and then color correction. And then the setting is hue shift. Yes, yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We got there, we got there. So now, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> With the magnitude, it, it does the whole thing. Now I could probably set the base value to 100, minus 180 to have the full spectrum. And then of course the factor would be 180. Would that work? Uh, pa, 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 pa. Nope. And I would have to really play around with this to really figure it out. But there it is. <laughs> there it is. So now it not only it's moving with the sound of my voice, but it's also changing color to the sound of my voice. And it doesn't have to be the, the waveform visualizer. It can be any any source like I showed you earlier. Let me customize this a little bit more. Let's mirror the frequency axis. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Everyone is like, oh, how do you know this? And how do you know that? It's like, I just tinker with it. 
I <laughs> I make sure I click on everything and I and I and I move every slider. That's how I do. That's how I do. <laughs> oh yeah, you can add a gradient too. Oh my god. The effect is kind of wild now. So cool. What other cool effects? Let's add a new scene called scene two. Let's add that scene as a scene. And the scene is called scene. Add filters to the scene, click plus, and we have the recursion effect. Again, flash warning, this is about to get super wild. Recursion effect is a plugin that you can find on the OBS forum. I just need to offset it, I think. Offset X. Oh. <laughs> What have I done? What have I created chat? What is this? Yes, I called you chat too. <laughs> and this is just the beginning. That's what I want you to to to, to figure out. Like I'm, I'm showing you basic stuff. I wanted to create like a whole overlay and create like a whole system and stuff. But if I just show you this, I, I think I think this is enough. I think you can see the vision from there. Again, this is something that you can turn on or turn off. Right, turn it off, blah, 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 blah. Use Streamer Bot and in channel points, they can turn this on or they can even play around with the values. Oh, uh, it, it looks like that when it's static. Bro, <laughs> this is so cool. There's rotation. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Here we go. There's so much. There's just so much to go. Oh, I'm out. There's so much to cover. Of course, don't go too wild with it. You don't want this to be distracting. Keep this for something that is special, right? You get a raid. I think it's, you know, you go full screen just chatting and this is happening. That's fine. Maybe more stuff happening with music that's playing. That's cool. You don't want like, of course, you wouldn't want that during your gameplay and stuff, right? That being said, though, that one, I think yeah, that one is kind of, you know, that one is kind of decent. You can remember that I'm using just my voice as an example here because the video would be like a day long. <laughs> I'm using just my voice, but you can just go to desktop audio if you don't have your audio separated and go to filters and do the same thing. And then whatever else is playing the music. If you have music playing, you can have specific sources react to, to music. You have a specific source reacting to, um, to, to if there's gunshots in the in the game that you're playing. You know what I mean? Anyway, I think I made my point. I don't think I need to convince you anymore. <laughs> I feel like this is enough convincing. Oh, audio move. It's glitching too. <laughs> DJs definitely will get a use out of this. If you do anything that is very, very music based, like just dance, for example, I think it would be cool to have a couple of overlays react to the music. If you're an artist who actually plays music during the stream, I think that could also be a cool thing. All right, let me get silly with it. Get silly with it. Nah, 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 nah. Get silly with it. <laughs> okay, I'm having way too much fun with this. Yeah, I think it might be time to call it quits. I give you the tools, you get creative with it. I'm getting bots in my channel while I'm recording. <laughs> so yeah, just play around with it, figure it out. Anyways, that's it. Uh, if you want to talk to me, <laughs> go follow me on Twitch. Yeah, if you want to see more videos like that, consider subscribing. And I will see you all next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out. Do 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 do